49 years. That's how long Voyager 1 has been drifting silently through the cosmos, far beyond the edge of our solar system. It's the most distant human-made object in existence, still sending data from over 14 billion miles away, a lonely relic of the space age, powered by decaying plutonium and hope. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why, as we delve into another mystery surrounding Voyager 1 just made an impossible discovery after 49 years in space. But then, something happened. Out of nowhere, Voyager 1 changed its course without receiving any command. Just days earlier, it had begun sending strange rhythmic signals, a low-frequency hum with mathematical precision. Not interference, not noise, but a pattern. And now, NASA is scrambling for answers. Whatever Voyager just encountered out there in the cold, vast darkness between the stars might not be natural. It might not be random. And it might not be alone. This is not just another space anomaly. This could be the beginning of something we were never meant to find. In the early hours of a quiet Tuesday morning in 2023, Dr. Margaret Chen, a veteran of the Voyager program since its inception, was reviewing routine telemetry data from Voyager 1 when something caught her eye. A new signal. Subtle, faint, but unmistakably organized. It was a hum, pulsing at regular intervals, buried in the background of Voyager's standard data transmissions. At first, engineers suspected a glitch. After all, the spacecraft was almost five decades old. But further analysis ruled that out. The signal wasn't random. It followed a rhythm. It repeated prime number sequences. It behaved like information. As the signal repeated, multiple antennas across NASA's deep space network confirmed its presence. Voyager wasn't just detecting something. It was possibly interacting with something. Something that understood structure. Something that answered with silence, but with intelligence. And then came the moment no one could explain. Voyager fired its thrusters. Mission logs showed no commands had been sent. The attitude control system, on its own, performed a slight orientation maneuver. The spacecraft gently turned, not toward Earth, not toward the Sun, but toward an empty patch of space, a direction with no known stars, galaxies, or celestial objects. It was as if Voyager had been called. The trajectory adjustment was subtle, just a small change in angle, but it was precise. Too precise to be a malfunction. Engineers at JPL ran simulations, diagnostics, and checked legacy code to see if a decades-old contingency routine had somehow triggered the shift. Nothing fit. And it wasn't a random drift either. The thrusters had fired in a deliberate pattern. Controlled, coordinated, clean. Voyager had turned its dormant camera array, which hadn't been active since 1990, toward a region of space we had no reason to look at. But Voyager did. In the days that followed, the strange hum in its signal grew clearer. Not louder, but more structured. It began to show recursive mathematical sequences, symmetrical intervals, geometric ratios, that couldn't be explained by cosmic radiation or magnetic anomalies. In fact, some of the sequences mirrored portions of Voyager's own radio handshake protocol, as if something was mimicking its language or answering in it. The mission team, made up of engineers now older than the spacecraft itself, gathered in quiet disbelief. One described it as hearing an unexpected knock on a door you forgot existed. And Voyager 1 our furthest explorer, had already opened that door. As the signal analysis intensified, something truly alarming was discovered. Hidden within the modulation of the hum were sequences strikingly similar to parts of the Arecibo message, the radio signal humanity sent into space in 1974 as a message to potential extraterrestrial civilizations. 
The structure wasn't identical, but it was undeniably related. That discovery split the scientific community. Some believe Voyager had passed through a complex magnetic structure or encountered an unknown plasma formation that was interfering with its electronics. Others more quietly began to wonder if Voyager had found something non-natural, something with intention. NASA's official response was carefully worded, unusual data patterns requiring further analysis. But behind the scenes, cryptographers, AI experts, and astrophysicists were brought in. Multiple classified meetings were held. And within the halls of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the unspoken question hung in the air. Was Voyager receiving a message, or was it being scanned? Weeks passed. Voyager remained steady in its new orientation. The hum continued. More complex patterns emerged. More echoes of structured thought. And still, NASA remained silent. But the real shift wasn't in space, it was in the people watching. Across independent observatories, amateur astronomers, and private research groups began detecting subtle electromagnetic disturbances in the direction Voyager had turned. Nothing dramatic, just enough to know something was there. Something we hadn't seen before. And then came the final clue. Voyager's plasma wave instrument recorded a sudden, sharp drop in ambient electron density, followed by a localized spike in cosmic ray activity. It was as if something had briefly disturbed the very fabric of the interstellar medium around it. And just like that, the hume stopped. The silence was deafening. Voyager's systems remained stable, its trajectory unchanged. But the feeling among the mission team was undeniable. It had seen something. It had been seen. And what happens next? No one can predict. As news of Voyager's anomaly began to trickle out beyond the scientific elite, it quickly ignited a wildfire of speculation across the globe. Leaked spectrograms of the signal were picked apart by amateur cryptographers while tech-savvy enthusiasts attempted to replicate the pulse using radio telescopes. A few even claimed to detect subtle reflections not from space, but from Earth's own magnetic field. As if the signal had bounced back somehow, changed. Podcasts, think tanks, and late-night broadcasts exploded with one haunting question. What did Voyager 1 just encounter? Some believed it was a passive alien beacon. Others feared it was a warning. A kind of cosmic tripwire left behind by an advanced intelligence to alert them whenever someone like us got too close. But perhaps the most chilling part wasn't the signal. It was how quiet the official response became. NASA delayed press briefings. The Deep Space Network refused further comment and those closest to the Voyager mission stopped giving interviews almost overnight. The sense of wonder began to mutate into unease. Because when silence comes after contact, it's not peace we fear, it's judgment. As independent analysis continued, a controversial idea began to gain traction. Initially dismissed as science fiction, the theory was simple but terrifying. Voyager didn't just detect something out there, it triggered it. Physicist Dr. Imani Reeve was one of the first to go public. In a live stream viewed by over 10 million people in 24 hours, she explained her findings. Based on the harmonic structure of the signal and the symmetrical adjustments in Voyager's positioning, she believed the probe had entered a field of synthetic gravity, a kind of detection grid possibly older than Earth itself. According to her model, Voyager's long-range radio signal may have awakened or pinged. A galactic net, woven into interstellar space, not to trap, but to watch. And when we crossed it, the system responded. That would explain the hum, the rotation, the echo. In Reeves' words, we didn't find life. We may have crossed into something that already accounted for ours. 
Then came the final twist. Astrobiologist Dr. Sergio Alvarez, working independently in Argentina, published a pre-print paper proposing that Voyager 1 may not be alone. Not anymore. His research focused on the sudden, measurable deviation in interstellar particle flow around the probe's location. It was subtle, but statistically significant. Something, he argued, had entered proximity with Voyager. Something small, cold, and silent. He dubbed it the shadow object. According to his theory, Voyager 1 might have triggered a passive artifact. Not a ship, not a beacon, but a kind of autonomous relic. A remnant from a civilization long gone. A machine designed to observe, adapt, and maybe respond. And now something may be traveling with Voyager. No propulsion, no transmissions, just movement, just presence. The data is incomplete. The answers are uncertain, but the implications are staggering. If true, it means Voyager 1 didn't just reach the edge of the solar system, it may have reached the boundary of a hidden layer of intelligence woven into the fabric of space itself. For 49 years, Voyager 1 has carried humanity's hopes and questions into the dark. We saw it as a messenger, a silent scout, a symbol of everything brilliant and brave about our species. But what if we were wrong? What if Voyager was never alone out there? What if space is not empty, but filled with eyes that don't blink, systems that don't sleep, and intelligences that don't announce themselves? What if, this entire time, the silence was by design? Now, after nearly five decades of drifting through the unknown, Voyager 1 may have brushed against something vast, ancient, and impossibly aware. And the response wasn't a greeting. It was a pulse, a turn, a whisper we weren't supposed to hear because maybe we weren't meant to discover them, and maybe they were waiting for us to be discovered. And now that moment has passed. The message has been received, and the universe is watching. What do you think Voyager 1 encountered? Was it a structure, a machine, a presence, or something else entirely? Thank you for joining us today on Why. Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting Why adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Why, signing off.